What's up guys, Thuglemonx here with a mod installing tutorial. We're gonna be, it's uh, quite uh, a little bit of an old mod, but it's still a very fun mod. Um, it's gonna be Tale of Kingdoms. So, um, usually it's kinda hard, but I found this website super easy. I'll put a link in the description. You can also just search up Tale of Kingdoms. Here, I'll do it right now. Tale kingdoms oh kingdoms okay and if you see the mod installer do that one scroll down dot zip so I'll do that uh, well, for the add fly link you want to wait till that is complete skip add uh, hit open with Tale of Kingdoms. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Open. So see this? Don't I don't know what this says. Um, <laughs> um, you don't need to do anything with that. Just open that, and make sure you can have a completely new jar. So let's uh get rid of all of this so okay so what you need to have a new jar see this is my old jar so you type in run and then percent app data percent get in your dot minecraft um or actually you just move your dot minecraft out but we don't need to since it's completely new. So once you do that, run the game. should give you a bunch of the folders. Then, once you get what I just downloaded, hit install the mod. Back up Minecraft before installing. You don't really need to. This has worked every time I've tried it so far. So, if it doesn't work, then, um, you know, uh, delete the dot .minecraft that you currently had while, in, while trying to install this and uh, run it again. So here we go. Every time I've done this, though, it um, spawns me a snow biome, and my computer can't take that, so uh, let's get rid of that. So it will say that, and then you can just close out of it. And now we're going to run Minecraft. Um, why I have to go through this every time I run Minecraft? Because I use Razer Game Booster, and it usually makes your games faster, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> can't tell too much of a difference so uh, you should get this that that's a good sign <coughs> and okay so now you're gonna want to I hope you can see the screen you should be able to <coughs> create a new world I'm so sick we're gonna just do creative uh, world type default this should be okay done and uh, create it mm -hmm. okay so here we go okay really low FPS but give it a second and then start new conquest now it says wait about a minute okay give it until you it, you get a little update like your character uh, moves a little bit and it should be good about now yeah see I just uh, <laughs> so hit exit sorry I'm a little laggy so this is Tale of Kingdoms I've seen people play Tale of Kingdoms I've played it a little bit not too much um this is compatible with some other mods too um, which ones I don't know. <laughs> um, I know like one um, Divine RPG, I think. So here is this. Sorry, I'm so laggy. Um, okay. Mm, okay, that's about all I can do. It's just laggy because I'm in a snow biome, so hopefully you have a decent computer. And it's a pretty big mod. 
so I don't really play on it too much because it's laggy for me but I know a little bit about it so let's what you can do is let's see let's ask this guy he will give you bread so easy way to get some food to start off even though I'm in creative and this guy uh, you can sell items and you can also buy items and um, there's one more um, well the main thing is to become the uh, king so what you have to do is you have to give a wooden sword <coughs> sorry to one of these guys <coughs> So, or you have to like find a village and stuff, and you also have to uh, challenge one of the guys and meet the guild master, which is up here. Sorry, I'm so laggy. I should put this on my server. Would have been a lot less. Like I think you can. I'm not positive. I've done it before with other mods, but I don't know about this one. So he should be right up here. I guess we're still in the old version, so he's still Santa, but uh, he shouldn't be when you download it. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the mod. Um, yeah, if you need any help... Um, Make sure, um, I don't think there's anything else that you have to do. Um, but now, oh, I'm going to show you guys how to get back to your regular Minecraft. So type in run, percent app data, and then move, you can either delete it so it goes into your recycle bin, which I'm going to do that because I'm never going to use it again, and drag and drop this and to roaming, and then... Let's run Minecraft. See, you don't have to drag and drop the files like in other videos you've probably seen. It, that's all you have to do. So it saves some time. I know how to do it either way. It's just, this is generally easier. So here I have noticed all my servers. I changed my IP. Look at that, look at that amazing IP. Um, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been Thug Lemon X. If you want to see more tutorials and gameplay, subscribe. Bye.